Hello everyone, you are welcome. How to solve this interesting square root math problem, which is square root of t times square root of t times square root of t is equal to 128. So here we will try to find out the value of t. How can we solve this math problem? Here first of all we will try to eliminate these square roots from the left hand side. So there are three square roots. So first of all we will try to eliminate this first one square root. To eliminate this square root here we will take square on both sides of this equation. So let us take square on both sides. So this will become whole square root of t times square root of t times square root of t is equal to 120a. So let us take square on both sides. So this will become here this square and this square will be cancelled. So this equation will become t times square root of t times square root of t is equal to 128 square now we will try to eliminate this second square root so again we will take square on both sides so again let us take square on both sides so this will come here we will take this square over t and this one expression so this will become t square times here this square and this square will be cancelled so this will become t times square root of t is equal to 128 and we multiply these two powers so 2 times 2 is 4 so this will become 4 and here the basis of these two expression is same so we will add their powers so this will become t raised to power 2 plus 1 is simply 3 times square root of t is equal to 128 raised to the power 4 I will try to eliminate this one square root so again we will take square on both sides so let us take square again on both sides so here we will take this square over t cube and this one expression so this will become t cube whole square times square root of t whole square is equal to and again you multiply these two powers so this will become 128 raised to the power 4 times 2 is 8 so this will become 8 now here this will become here multiply the power so this will become 3 raised to the power 3 times 2 is simply 6 times and here this square and this square will be cancelled so this will become only t is equal to 128 raised to the power 8 now next we can write this 128 as this can be written as 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 16 times 2 is 32, 32 times 2 is 64, 64 times 2 is 128. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So here 2 is 7 times. So therefore we can write this as 2 raised to power 7. So here we replace this number 128 with this exponential form, this exponential value. So this equation will become here the base is same so we will add the power so this will become t raised to power 6 plus 1 is simply 7 is equal to and this will become 2 raised to power 7 whole raised to power a now here on the right hand side we will use an exponential identity and remove this power out and this power inside so this will become t raised to power 7 is equal to this will become 2 raised to power 8 whole raised to power 7 now look at to both sides of this equation this equation has the same power so when we have same power so we can compare the bases as and then we have the same basis so we can compare the powers so here the power are same so we'll compare the bases so this equation will become this gives him t is equal to 2 raised to power a what is the value of 2 raised to power 8 here the value of 2 raised to power 7 is 128 so multiplying 2 with 128 it is 256 so therefore the value of t will become t is equal to 256 so t is equal to 256 is our answer and value of t in this interesting square root math problem and we will try to verify the value of t uh, that as t is equal to 256 is the exact and correct value of t in this interesting radical math problem or not. 
so we will verify this value here now to verify the value of t here we will read our problem again our problem is square root of t times square root of t times square root of t is equal to 120a then we will replace t with its value that is 256 so this left hand side will become square root of this will become 256 times square root of 256 times square root of 256 is equal to 120a here we can write this square root of 256 is this can be written as 256 is 16 square so this will become 16 square so this square and this square will be cancelled so this will become only 16 so therefore the value of square root of 256 will be 16 so here we replace this square root of 256 with 16 so this left hand side will become all square root of 256 times all square root of 256 times and this is 16 so this will become 60 is equal to 128 now next we can write these two numbers as this number will be the same whole square root of 256 times square root of and we can write this 256 as 16 square times we can write 16 as per square is equal to 120a here these two numbers are in square form so we will take out square common and we multiply the basis so this will become whole square root of 256 times this will become whole square root of this will become 16 times 4 whole square is equal to 128 so here this square and this square will be cancelled so this left hand side will become whole square root of this will become 256 times 16 times 4 is equal to 128 next we can write these three numbers as this can be written as whole square root of 256 can be written as 16 square 16 can be written as 4 square and 4 can be written as 2 square is equal to 128 here all of these three numbers are in square form so we multiply the basis and we will take out the square common so this will become whole square root of 16 times 4 times 2 whole square is equal to 120a we have this square and this square will be cancelled so we have only these three numbers so this will become 16 times 4 times 2 is equal to 128 so let's multiply these three numbers to so 16 times 4 is 64 so this will become 64 times 2 is equal to 128 what is 64 times 2 2 times 4 is 8 and 2 times 6 is 12 so this is 128 is equal to 128 now since both sides are equal so it means that t is equal to 256 is the exact and correct value of t in this interesting screw and radical math problem.